Hi there! Today I'm going to show you how to apply Kapton polyamide tape to your 3D printing platform. The two most common methods are the wet and dry methods, and I'm going to show you both and compare the results. I also want to show you a double-sided polyamide tape that I find very easy to use. First, no matter what method you use, clean up the printing platform with alcohol. This step removes any lingering oil and dirt, which makes the application easier. Then, we wait for the alcohol to evaporate before applying the tape. With the dry method, I'm going to apply the tape directly to the surface without any liquid. The first issue with this method is that it generally creates the most air bubbles out of all of them when it's applied. The second issue is that because the adhesive is directly applied to the board, it makes it difficult to readjust the position of the tape if need be. Now, I'll try my best to squeeze out all the air bubbles. But as you can see, there are still quite a few under the tape. Next, I'm going to try the wet method. First, spray both the adhesive side of the tape and the board with soap water. The water creates a barrier between the platform and the adhesive, making it easier to squeeze out the air bubbles and adjust the tape. One issue with the wet method is that depending on where you buy the tape, some cheaper polyamide tapes are not as sticky to begin with, so it might not stick as well after getting wet. Overall, the wet method works better than the dry method, though as you can see here, there's still some room for improvement. But with more effort, you would probably get the air out. Lastly, I will show you this double-sided polyamide tape, which does not need to be sprayed with water. It comes with a liner, and because of its increased thickness, the tape doesn't stretch as much, and thus can hold its flat shape during application. Just apply this double-sided tape directly. Voila! No air bubbles. It's simple and fast. Also, with this method, you don't need to wait for the water to dry under the tape. Because of its double-sided nature, it has the added benefit of creating adhesion between the printing product and the print bed, so it doesn't shift during printing. However, double-sided tape does tend to be more expensive than its counterparts, so that's something to keep in mind. We also have a single-sided version of the tape, which is just as easy to apply. If you want to give the polyamide tape with a liner a try, I attach the purchase link below. If you have tried it, let me know how it worked for you. Thanks for watching!